Hi, what is good, everybody? Jude back again, aka Soul Gamer, once again. And we're going to run through another quick tutorial installation type video. So, you know, Franklin's been flipping whips. <laughs> And he's been doing so well with the other dealership mod that I have installed that we're going to go ahead and he's going to acquire another dealership. So <laughs> I found another dealership mod called Ultimate Car Dealership. So let's go ahead. We'll install this and check it out. I think it works slightly different than that other mod that I had installed. Or that I have installed still actually um, called it's called like premium car dealership selling cars or something like that but that one it actually the dealership technically isn't yours it, the dealership is still like owned by Simeon but you can sell cars through it and they take 10% so I think with this one you can actually I, I think you actually own the dealership, so I don't think the dealership is taking 10%, but we'll find out. So <laughs> let's go ahead and take a quick look here at the description. Um, of course, the link I'll have in the, des in the description of my video. It looks like there's been a number of updates done on this, so it usually indicates that it's a pretty good modification looks like the creator put quite a bit of work into it so that's definitely appreciated so again I'll, I'll definitely link this mod if you guys are interested in installing it on your own but let's see okay so that's dope this allows you to sell add-on and original cars see so that other mod that I'm using the other dealership mod uh, the only way that I have real cars is those are replacement cars. So, like, for example, the Bugatti Veyron is actually the uh, the Adder, I think it's called, which is basically GTA's version of the Bugatti Veyron. So, uh, but you can't take, like, an add-on car and take it to that dealership and sell it. You, it so, it has to be... Um, if you want a real car to sell through that other dealership, you have to replace an existing car and then you can take it over there. Downside to that is sometimes, like for example, I think it's the Cullinan um, that I have replaced. Whatever vehicle I have it replacing is only worth like 35 G. <laughs> so when I take a Cullinan to my dealership or to that dealership to sell, it's only selling for 35 grand, which would be like the greatest deal ever on a Colored. So, um, well, let's go ahead and install this one and see what this, uh, you know, how this one works. Hopefully, um, you know, you'll be able to maybe potentially set prices. We'll see. But uh, so we'll take a quick look. Looks like script hook v.net so all this is something that i already have installed chances are you probably have it installed as well if you're looking to install this and if you've followed any of my other tutorials i mean honestly script hook 5.net and script hook 5 and 80 ui are used for so many mods so chances are you probably have it if not then there are links to be able to download it um so dealership blue dealership blip on the map all right well, I just wanted to see, it doesn't look like, um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any compatibility issues. It does recommend having game config.xml file installed on and vehicles for five times the traffic. So it looks like, um, this is something, especially if you do add on cars, game config probably something you probably already have on there because that's what really allows you to add a lot of cars. If you don't have this, then you'll probably only be able to add 
you know, couple. Uh, I think first time I did it without that game config, I got maybe three or four cars installed, add-on cars, and then the game just started crashing. So this is something I would recommend having anyway. And if you are into downloading the add-on cars, chances are you already do. So that's already something I have on here. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll start the download. Again, mod at your own risk. We'll do, of course, I'm going to go with the most current version. All right. And this is what something that I've mentioned before. A lot of these mods are going to have a readme file that will tell you how to run the installation. Okay. So it looks pretty straightforward. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm in my DLC packs. Let's go back to here. So the two car dealership files, the INI file and that DLL file, we are going to move into the scripts folder. Okay. Now this UCD folder is actually a DLC file or a RPF file, but DLC. So what we're going to do is this is going to be a lot like adding on a car, installing an add-on car. So first I'm going to need to go back to or uh, pull up my DLC list. So I'll go to mods, update, x64 dlc packs and this is where we go to do our add-on cars as you can see all my add-on cars there and we just want to drag and drop this folder in here all right now the second step to that is going to be to open up open iv All right, and then in OpenIV, we're gonna to go to mods, update, update.rpf, common, data, and then scroll down. And then always remember to right click on the DLC list, the XML file, and go to edit. Otherwise, if you just double click it, it's just gonna open it for you to view. Okay. And again, my favorite way to do this is to duplicate the last line. That way we don't have to worry about retyping all that code. I just delete everything in between the slashes and then type in the folder name. So UCD. And save that. All right. So let's go back to so the readme didn't have the first step of these two. I just figured these would go in the scripts folder because they're scripts. <laughs> and um, I believe, does it have instructions on here? Yeah, so it tells you right here to add those two to the scripts folder. So it's kind of like a two-parter. Um, the looks like the instructions are kind of split up. So it's always a good idea. If you do have a readme file inside of your download, just go ahead and take a look at that because this didn't give the full instructions. So, you know, if you didn't actually read or open up this readme file, then you may have just tried to add this to like um, the your uh, your scripts folder or something along those lines, and then it wouldn't have worked. So. So um, now that we got that installed, I just want to take a quick look. I believe, let's see, wizard assign. Oh, you know what? There was one other thing up here that I saw. And I think this is the interior of the dealership. So let me take a look at that. See if that is in fact the case. Okay. 
What is this? This is the MLO. Okay, let me just download this. I'm trying to see. Uh, looks like that same file that we already have. Okay, <laughs> so never mind that. All right, so let me go ahead and we will get uh, GTA 5 launch and test out this ultimate dealership. Alright, uh, 6 a.m. Franklin has just acquired his new dealership. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. Just to sell that mod. In case you're wondering, yes, Franklin's Supreme shirt is backwards. <laughs> now, I installed this mod that changed the texture or the model of the t-shirt but after i changed the type of t-shirt all like everything ever since then has been backwards and i haven't figured out how to fix that <laughs> but I, st I still think they look pretty dope and then also i like the size the fitment of the shirt because this replaces that shirt that fits them all baggy that i like how it fits but i just need to figure out how to turn it around <laughs> also the shirts look kind of dirty especially white ones all right and then he's got some joggers on and his travis scott air force ones so let's go hit the dealership oh well there's two okay well i'll check them both out then um we're gonna take the yours today Ooh, it's looking a little dirty. Let's go ahead and clean that up. I just go to repair the vehicle, fixes it, and cleans it. <laughs> Alright, so let's head to the dealership. Honestly, the Urus is out of all my favorite cars that i got sitting out there right now the yours is my favorite by far especially with this wide body kit this 10 16 industries wide body kit oh my god you know who's yours this reminds me of i don't know i'm sure a lot of uh car people out there are familiar with rbd or rbd rdbla vix urus he's got this 1016 wide body kit on it and i'm pretty sure he has a forged carbon too i think this is pretty much his <laughs> lambo right here just with different wheels but I'll, if y'all haven't seen them check them out on youtube they're one of my favorite channels to watch they do crazy work crazy cars and they do like impeccable work and they're fast as hell too they take care of their customers so check them out that's rdbla on youtube they are uh, definitely one of my favorite channels so this doesn't look like a dealership <laughs> uh, are these garages supposed to open or something? Maybe I'm missing something? Yeah, this ain't, this definitely ain't a dealership. Alright, well... Maybe something did it install right. Let's check out the other location then. 
Yeah, this is definitely Nick's Rambo yours, except his. I, I think he, I think he has the red interior. Red interior, honestly, that's my favorite color combination: white with black and red interior. But I do that all the time, so I wanted to switch this one up and get the yellow interior. I think it looks dope too. But in real life, if I were to get one. It would have to be white with the red interior, the red and black interior. And then tint the windows up nice and dark. Be perfect width. Alright, so let's see. Let me see, I'm I'm still hesitant about that pull me over mod. Because I like to drive reckless. <laughs> I swear I'll, I'll probably be getting my license suspended in my car and pounded all the time with that on installed. <laughs> oh, this ain't far from my other dealership. Okay. There's strip clubs right down the street, too. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so I passed it. <laughs> Too busy focusing on where the strip club was at. Oh shoot, what, what, what is that, a ranchero sitting out front? Let's check this joint out. I love to do that. Alright, so where are we? Let's check the dealership out. Yo, is this one of my workers? You just chilling here? Get to work on one of the whips, bro. Alright, I guess there is no <laughs> whips up in here just yet. We all we literally have is a couch and a desk. Alright. We're going to have to go get some whips. Let's see. Okay. Well, that's cool. It looks like we can bring something to the showroom. Is that another worker we got out here or what? Yeah. What's going on here? Okay. Can you not walk out these doors? Guess not. Huh. All right. Well, then let's not even worry about it right now. Um, oh, we've got an office right here. Let's take a look. Order. Oh, can we order vehicles? Get all these slots. Or slot four. Or. Uh, Slot one for five thousand dollars. There is no vehicle in this slot one. Huh. Okay. I don't know what that means. Well, but if I go and get the vehicle, why do I gotta order the vehicle? What? That makes no sense. All right. Uh, let's see. Dealership settings. Market visibility settings. Slot one. Open and close shop. Mark visible, mark invisible. Store vehicle, cannot find. Clear slot, set vehicle price. Okay, oh, that's dope. So we can set our own prices on the vehicles. That's what I'm talking about. All right show okay so I guess what I'm gonna have to do let's go get a car <laughs> to put in one of these slots and we will see how it works once we actually have a vehicle
Okay, let's see. Where can we get a nice car to sell? Oh, you know what? If this is what I think it is. The car that I've been trying to get rid of. <laughs> That's the thing about this persistence mod. Sometimes I don't purposely save cars. And then I just reload the map and they're just chilling there. Just watch, there's this Maybach up here that um, that I didn't like, so I just parked it on the side of the street, and every time I've gone back to try to get rid of it, it just doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, shoot, I am thirsty. <laughs> We've got Franklin out here dying of thirst. That's crazy that you don't get like any sort of warning. Because I'm just over here chilling. <laughs> Alright, let's have a sandwich to just because. <laughs> Alright. I just start dying all of a sudden. Usually it would be dope if it gives you warning. But, uh, alright, so let me, I'm going to park this over here for right now. Okay. So, this Maybach. <laughs> GLS 600, I think it is. Is it GLS or GSA? It is... Yeah, GLS 600, my body. Ugly as hell, I think. <laughs> I mean, mainly it's the color. Me personally, though, in, in like real life, I wouldn't waste all my money on a Maybach like this because it is... Um, To me, it looks like a pretty basic SUV, yeah? like, and then, I don't know, There's, it just doesn't seem like it's anything special <laughs> to me. Um, you know what I want to do? Let's do, let's do a custom paint job here. We're going to do matte black with gloss sides. <laughs> That makes it look a little better. Nah, you know what? Should we do... What if we were to do like a metallic gray? See, okay, something like that goes hard. Alright, let's do that. So... Let's get this back to the dealership. I don't, you know what? I don't even know what the MSRP on one of these would be. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I went down a one way. Okay. Okay. That's why I need that uh, mod that makes you obey traffic laws. <laughs> oh, or should I, should I take that SV? that for sale okay so let's park it in the spot oh did you see that it's supposed to have the bay back on the ground it's not on the ground but that's still dumb <laughs> all right so let's see So, I'm looking on my phone real quick. 
Wait, an MSRP on one of those is 160? Is that what they started or what? Damn. All right, that must be like bare base model or nothing. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm finding, about 160. So, let's see. So, I'm going to read all that. So, we're going to say this is a fully loaded one. I'm going to ask. <laughs> Uh, fully loaded, we'll probably put it up around 200 Gs. Let's do, I'm, a, I'm just going to ask 175,000, right? All right. And is that it? You just, or do I got to open up to the shop or something? Oh, where did, bro, where did my, where did my mind back go? On my back, on my back. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I opened up shop and my car just disappears. <laughs> Yo. Oh, bro, what? What is going on? A customer is approaching. Yo, all right, so let me go ahead, this is what I would do, I'm going to mess around with this mod a little more, yo, my Lambo's gone too, oh man, yeah, something ain't right here, all right, y'all, well, we got the mod installed, I just need to figure out how to work it. It looks pretty dope though i'm excited so let me go ahead and figure some things out with this mod and i will make another video on this i appreciate y'all watching i hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, again links down in the subscription subscription <laughs> in the description <laughs> link is down in the description if you like the video please press that like button and subscribe to my channel and I will talk to y'all later. I peace. Yo. I don't even. Yeah, it's time to go. <laughs>